Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECM. In this week's episode, a new world speed record for electric vehicles, robotic baseball fans, and organs on a chip technology. There's been a lot of criticism when it comes to electric cars, from battery fires to expense to problems with low speed and short distances. Technological improvements in a decent PR campaigns have managed to put out most of the publicity fires, but speed and mileage remain an issue. But perhaps not for long. A group of students at the University of New South Wales in Australia recently set a new world speed record for an electrical vehicle at the Australian Automotive Research Centre in Victoria. The SunSwift car averaged 62 miles per hour over 311 miles, beating out the 26-year-old previous record of 45 miles per hour over 311 miles. This car, called the SunSwift Eve, is actually a fifth generation of the SunSwift cars, and many of them have been used to set records. The SunSwift Ivy set a record for the fastest solar-powered car in 2011, and the J-Car SunSwift III set a record in 2007 for the fastest solar-powered road trip from Perth to Sydney. With 800-watt solar panels, which were switched off during the attempt, and a pretty serious battery, the Eve tops out at 87 miles per hour with a total max range of nearly 500 miles. The run still has to be approved by the FIA, the governing body of world motorsports, but if approved, will be the first FIA world record to be set in Australia since 1984. The team is hoping to have the car street legal in about a year. Though they haven't quite sunk to the epic awfulness of the Chicago Cubs of their 105-year championship drought, the Hanwha Eagles South Korean baseball squad is renowned as that country's lovable loser. As a long-suffering member of another fan base known as much for their losing squads as their unique extracurricular activities, I can relate. But that being said, sometimes a professional sports franchise takes things so far that even as Philadelphia Phillies fan is a bit frightened. The robots hold up digital signs encouraging fans to cheer. They can even do the wave, as you see there. Oh my god, it's the robot apocalypse! Run! The Hanwha Eagles recently unveiled what they called FanBots, which as the name implies are robotic fans designed to lead cheers and act like the fleshy piles of human fans that didn't feel like wasting money to come to see a stinker. Again, I can relate. The robotic fans occupy three rows at the team's home stadium and generally function as mechanized cheerleaders, leading chants and holding up digital signs. But fans can also connect via social media and relay messages or even their faces to be displayed on the robot's LED screens. So it's sort of like bringing fans at home tantalizingly close to the game. If the fans were creepy looking automatons with no mercy, remorse, and a penchant for destruction. I think it goes without saying that these fan bots will never in a million years come to America. Out of the incubator and into the free market, the Wies Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering at Harvard University is commercializing its human organs on a chip technology with the new startup Emulate. You know what that means, right? The idea can finally make money. Well, maybe, probably. I mean, it's a safe bet that it'll make some money. Created with microchip manufacturing methods, an organ on a chip is a cell culture device about the size of a computer memory stick. It contains hollow channels lined by living cells and tissues that mimic organ-level physiology. These devices produce tissue and organ functionality not possible with conventional systems, while permitting real-time analysis of individual cells. The Vs team can even daisy-chain them together and use fake blood to replicate whole body-level responses. This automated platform could be a big step towards better testing for potential new drugs, chemicals, and cosmetics, all while reducing the need for animal testing. Finally, something to get rid of those terrible animal testing ads. Really? A cat with screws in its head while I'm pumping gas. You made money on that ad, PDQ, but there's no way I'm buying a sandwich after that. Well, in the future, you could even line these things with your stem cells for better, more personalized care. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and see other episodes at ecnmag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update.